Today, we're going to be doing a short Pilates workout that focuses on keeping a neutral spine to protect your low back. So this is great if you're recovering from an injury or you have the kind of previous injury that if you move in the wrong way and you're not being mindful, you kind of tweak your back a little bit and you just want to be careful while at the same time building core strength. So we're going to be focusing on keeping a neutral spine and we're going to find that as we lay on our back. Um, and trying to access those deep abdominals between your belly button and your pubic bone, those transverse abdominals, which kind of support you and hold everything in. So, um, you know, try as you're working out, that feeling that we always talk about pulling in and up and lifting your pelvic floor and focus on those lower abdominals, really pulling them in towards your spine. So we're going to start on our back. So let's first just find that neutral spine position that we were talking about. You can put, take your, the heel of your palms and place them on your hip bones and then bring your fingertips together and they should rest on your pubic bone. So just so you can feel the difference, first arch your low back and tilt your pelvis away and you can see how your fingers dip down and then tuck your tailbone and you feel your fingers come up. Just because it feels good and loosens your back, do that a couple more times. Relax your shoulders away from your ears and you're pulling your belly in and up, lifting your pelvic floor. Now come to a neutral spine and that's the place where the heel of your palms and your fingertips are all on the same plane. You're not tilted up, you're not tilted away. That's your neutral spine. So whether you're standing or sitting or on your back, you wanna always have that place where your pubic bone and your hip bones are in that same plane. So from here, you found your neutral. Let's pull your knees into your chest for a second and just rock side to side. Just loosening up the low back, maybe start to circle your knees around in one direction and then the other. And notice if you have any discomfort or hopefully not any pain. If you have any pain, you shouldn't really be doing anything other than um, some stretching here. But if you have any discomfort and you're just trying to be careful with that part of your back. And then come to the center, one hand on each knee and make circles away from each other. And then reverse it, make them towards each other. And then rest with your knees at the center, two hands on the right knee, extend that left leg out. Push through that left heel. You're pulling the right knee in, you're pulling your belly in and up. And then start to straighten out that right leg. You're gonna keep your head down. We're not doing anything in C curve today, which in Pilates, as you know, is when you lift your chest and you bring your head forward a little bit. We're gonna keep our head and chest down today. So grab behind your thigh, behind your calf, pushing your heel up as you press your hip bone down. A lot of times if you have tight hamstrings, that can work its way into your low back and cause discomfort. So just trying to stretch, gently stretching the hamstrings, then flex and point. And then keep your toes pointed and circle your foot in one direction and then the other. Bend that knee, pull it into your chest with your right hand, guide your knee to the right side and you can flex that foot to kind of deepen that stretch, pulling the knee towards your right shoulder. And then inhale, exhale, go across your body. Left hand goes on the outside of the right knee, extend your right arm, look to the right. Just a gentle spine twist. And then coming onto your back again, pull your left knee into your chest and now extend that right leg out. Flex that foot, push through the heel, and then straighten that left leg out and start to gently stretch, pulling it towards you. You might notice one leg is tighter than the other. Try to keep your shoulders down, just taking deep breaths in and out. And then flex and point. 
and then keep your toes pointed, circle your foot in one direction, and then the other. And then hold it here, bend your leg, pull your left knee into your chest. With your left hand, gently guide that, guide that left knee to the left side. You can keep your right hand pressed onto your right hip to make sure your hip stays down. Shoulders down, you can flex that foot to make it a little bit more of a stretch in the inner thigh. And then inhale, exhale, bring that knee across your body. Right hand goes on the outside of the left knee. Extend your left arm out, look over your shoulder and try to soften that left shoulder. Just take a couple breaths here. Every time you breathe in, imagine you're expanding your ribs. So you're breathing, drawing that breath in through your nose to the whole rib cage. And as you exhale, you pull your belly in more deeply, pull your ribs together. So you're pulling, you're pressing all of that air out by squeezing in your core, squeezing your ribs together. And then come back across your body. Give that knee a little pull, pull the right knee in. We're gonna go into some toe dips now. So you're gonna bring your legs to a chair position. You wanna check that your knee and your hip are in line. You don't wanna be back here, curling up your tailbone. That puts pressure on your vertebra and your disc. So you're gonna keep the knee right over the hip and your calves are parallel to the floor. They're not up here. You wanna make sure that they're parallel. Pull your belly in and up. As if your leg is in a cast, you're gonna hinge from the hip, dropping that right leg down. So it's toe dip. So imagine you're dipping your toes in a pool. You pull back up and then the left leg comes down. So what you don't wanna do is drop your heel and lower the leg, drop the heel, hinge the whole leg forward and pull back up. You can have your triceps pressed into the mat to support. You wanna make sure you're stabilizing your whole torso. Nothing is moving but that leg. Go down for a count of two and up for two. Down for two, up for two. And breathe, inhale lower, exhale, pull your belly in. Use your core, engage your core as you pull your leg back up. It's a slow controlled movement. You wanna feel your core working to keep that spine neutral, not letting your low back lift up. Let's do one more on the left and then pull your knees into your chest. You can cross at the ankles or just keep your ankles next to each other parallel, whatever feels good. And now we're gonna do double toe dips. Legs come back to that chair position. If you felt like single was enough challenge, continue with single. Otherwise, glue your legs together, hinge forward, and pull back up. You only go as low as you can keep your low back connected to the mat. You don't want to ever let your low back start to lift up or feel any discomfort. You can bend your arms and press your triceps down for support, keeping your shoulders away from your ears. Inhale as you lower, exhale lift. Let's do five more, or as many as you feel you can do with good form. Two more. And pull your knees in. Give yourself a little rock side to side. Good, so we're gonna do one more thing here. We're gonna do leg lowers. So it's just a little modification of toe dips. Legs come back to that chair position. Bring that right leg straight up, flex your foot, really push through that heel. Like you're trying to put your footprint on the ceiling at the same time you're pressing your right hip down. So you get nice length in that leg. You lower down so your foot is hovering above the mat. Point, lift up. Flex down, point, lift. And you make it slow and controlled so momentum never takes over. You really want to feel the movement the whole time. Two more. Last one. Inhale. Exhale. Point lift. Bend that knee. Find your form again. 
extend that left leg up, flex that foot, make it really long, make that leg long, lower, point lift, flex down, point lift. The nice thing about flexing down is you can feel a nice stretch at the back of your leg. So that's the nice thing about Pilates, you're stretching and strengthening at the same time. Let's do one more. Flex down, point lift. Pull your knees in, give a little rock side to side. Okay, so we're gonna do a little corkscrew here. Legs come straight up. Imagine they're glued together or tied together. They're one piece. Your arms are at your side, shoulders are back and down. And you're gonna start by just drawing a circle on the ceiling with your toes. Doesn't have to be big. Circle down, around, come back to your start point. So pick a point where you start, then reverse that circle. Keeping that spine neutral, keeping that pelvis glued down to the mat. Now see if you can do that, but make your circle a little bit bigger without your back giving or your low back lifting up off the mat. So see if you can come a little bit lower. Find your point and reverse it. To the right, inhale and exhale. So we'll do a few more of these and then you experiment and see how big you can make it without your low back giving and you're gonna to start to feel your obliques working also. So you come down, around, lift, but keep that pelvis glued down. Inhale, exhale, lift. Really squeeze your inner thighs together, lift your pelvic floor. Let's do one more on each side. And pull your knees in again. Bring your feet down onto the mat, slightly wider than your hips, and just windshield wiping your knees side to side. So let them be heavy on one side, and then the other. Just feeling that stretch in your low back. Come back to your knees straight up towards the ceiling. You're gonna walk your feet in a little bit, we're gonna do some pelvic lifting here. So your feet, knees, and hips are in line. Arms are at your side. And just lift your lower back away from the mat so you're losing that neutral. You're arching your back a little bit. And then you're tucking your tailbone. And do that again. And tuck your tailbone, but now keep it tucked. Press into the, your feet. Imagine your feet with four points two at the toes, two at the heels, press evenly into those four points. Your tailbone is tucked. You come up one bone at a time. You're lifted to the point you're a straight line from your knees to your sternum. So you're squeezing your glutes, you're pressing into your feet, your shoulders are back. There should be no tension in your neck at all. So you're trying to really stretch your spine out by pushing your knees away, pulling your belly in. Inhale, exhale, now come down one bone at a time like a string of pearls and you release that pelvic tilt, come back to neutral. Inhale, exhale, pelvic tilt, come up slowly again. There are different variations with pelvic lifting where you just lower and lift, lower and lift. Sometimes you see that, but here we're really working on strengthening the muscles around the spine. That's why you take your time articulating through the spine as you come down and as you lift. The last thing to come down is that tailbone. Inhale, exhale, pelvic lift. Picking your bones up one at a time. Weight rests over the shoulder blades, no tension in the neck. Imagine you're squeezing a ball between your inner thighs. Your thighs aren't moving, but those muscles are turned on. And slowly come down. One more time, inhale. Exhale, pelvic lift. Coming up and holding. No tension in the neck. You should be able to move your head side to side. Push your knees away. Imagine you're trying to touch the wall opposite from you with your knees. Pull as you pull your belly in, as you're squeezing your glutes. And you slowly come down. Pull the knees in one more time. 
this time bring the soles of your feet together, hold your ankles and just rock side to side. And so we're gonna come up to a seated position. So you can bring your feet down, roll to the side and just push yourself up. Good, so it's important to move our spine in all different ways. We're going to do a little twisting here and a little side to side or mermaid movement. So you can bring your feet slightly wider than your hips, arms out to the side, and you're just gonna rotate the ribs, the shoulders and arms follow and lift up and come center. Inhale as you twist, lifting up, but shoulders stay down and come center. So always lifting the ribs up as the shoulders stay down, finding length. Imagine you're sitting up against a wall so that you don't start to slouch. You wanna always be lifted. Twist and lift and come center, twist and lift and come center. Let's do one more on each side. And just sit crisscross for a second. Sit up really tall, put your right hand down, lift up, reach over to the right with your left arm, but press your left hip away. You don't wanna rotate forward at all. You want your shoulders to be in line across. You're wide across the collarbone. Reach with your arm. Don't just bend and let your arm hang. Reach, press your hip away. Pull yourself up. Bring that right arm up. Tilt up and over. Reach with your right arm. Press your right hip away. And come all the way up. Lift, curl over. Reach. And pull yourself up. Lift up. Reach with your right arm. Press your right hip away. Lifting up. Now the next, we'll do two more on each side. But imagine your obliques pick you up. So don't even push with your right hand at all. Pull yourself up with those side body muscles and reach and lift with the obliques. Initiate lifting from there. Reach with your arm, press your hip away, coming up tall last time. And coming up tall. Now you're going to bring your legs straight out in front of you and sit up as tall as you can. And if this is uncomfortable for you, you can bend your knees, that's fine. But have your feet, knees, and hips in line. So whatever works for you. You wanna make sure that you're not starting back here. You want your back flat. So we're keeping that neutral spine, hands across the chest. You're gonna hinge back to the point where you feel a challenge to your core, but you're not letting your back give. And you hold it and you come back up. Breathe in through the nose to the back of the rib cage. Find that challenge point, hold it, and come back up. Pull that belly in, exhale as you lift. So as you progress, if this feels too easy, maybe you add some arm movements. You can bring your arms out, hold, Lift an arm and see how lifting your arm challenges your core, keeping, but the whole time keeping that straight line from the top of your head to your tailbone. Shoulders down, hinge back. Maybe lift both arms up. And then one more time. And keep breathing. and lift and hold it here. We're gonna come on to our stomachs. So these tone ex um, exercises are great if you have low back issues, but you have to make sure you're still being mindful of your back. You're pressing your pubic bone down. You're not just letting your back arch here. You're gonna put too much pressure on your vertebra and the disc. So we're having our head hover above the mat. Knees are slightly wider than the hips. You can even turn your knees out a little bit. Press your pubic bone down. Press into your hands. Inhale as you lift your chest. But you don't want to just lift your chest. You want to pull forward, pulling your chest through your arms at the same time. Shoulders down. Exhale, you lower. Pubic bone is pressed down. Inhale. And exhale, lower. Inhale. 
pulling your chest through your arms, finding length in the spine. And lower. Let's do two more. Breathe in through the nose to the back of the rib cage. Press your pubic bone down, find length through the spine and lower. And we're gonna hold it here and you're gonna squeeze your glutes and just lift your legs up. You're not gonna bend your knees to lift your legs. Legs are straight. Try to imagine you're lifting your thighs and you're reaching with your legs. Your pubic bone is pressed down and then hands on your shoulders, but you're gonna lift your chest so that your hands are hovering up above the mat. You're looking down, maybe a little bit in front of your face. So you're looking towards the front edge of the mat. Extend the right arm out, but don't let your chest drop. Pull your belly in, pull it back. Left arm extend, pull in. See if you can come up a little bit higher, squeeze your glutes a little more, reach your tailbone away from you. Inhale. Exhale, pull in. Left arm. Right arm. Left arm. Lower down. Come back up. Chest and legs. Right arm. Left arm. Now see if you can stay lifted. Reach both arms out. Lift your chest. Circle around like you're swimming. And bring your hands under as you lower. Press out, lift. Hands come in. One more time. Press out, lift. Hands come in. Hands are hovering. You lower down. Push up. Big toes together. Knees apart. Just sit back for a second and release any tension in your low back in child pose. And we're going to come on into your hands and your knees. In this quadruped position, hands are under the shoulders, knees are under the hips, and just move through a few cow and cat stretches, just releasing any tension in your back. Inhale as your head and tailbone come up, and exhale, you tuck your tailbone just a little bit, lengthening the spine. And then we're going to find that neutral spine again, and you're going to hold it here. So now holding this position, keeping your spine neutral, extend that left leg out. And then if you feel balanced, now make sure your hip isn't lifted up here and open. You wanna bring the points of your hip down. So your leg is even to the floor, your hips are straight across, and then you extend your right arm out. Just lengthen and hold and try to find your balance. Not letting your weight sink into your left wrist. Feel like you're lifting yourself up. Then little lift and lower. We're already lifted, you're just going up an inch. Like you're trying to touch the wall in front of you and behind you. Two more. Hold, lengthen. Place that hand down, place that knee down, recenter. If you need to move your hip side to side or do a quick cat cow, feel free just to release any tension. Then you're gonna extend your right leg out. Same thing, hips are straight across. You're not tilted up. And you're reaching with that leg, toes are pointed. Extend your left arm out and hold. Just finding your balance, lifting your belly up, picking your weight up out of your right wrist. Lift and lower. Keep breathing. Neck is lined up with the rest of the spine. So you don't want your head to hang too low or up too high. Two more. Hold, hand comes down, knee comes down. Just sit back again for a second. Maybe roll your wrist around. If your wrists are feeling tight at all, just always releasing that tension that might build up. If you also, if you feel, ever feel like your wrists are starting to feel sore and you need to give them a break, roll up the front edge of your mat and place the heel of your palm on the edge. And that takes some of the pressure off. So you can try that too. So we're gonna go into a plank now, a high plank, hands under the shoulders, knees under the hips. Step back with that right foot, press into that heel. You have a neutral spine. Now without your hips dropping, step back with that left foot. So you come into your nice strong plank position. 
hands are under the shoulders, feet are even with your hips or slightly wider. You're pressing into your heels, you're looking past your fingertips. Tiny tuck to the pelvis. You're not take, but you don't wanna sag either. So you have a little tuck. And lift your belly up. You can really feel your core working to stabilize. So we're just gonna take some breath here. Breathe in through the nose. And exhale, pull your ribs together. If you wanna get a little stretch across the feet and the ankles, you can rock forward and back, keeping that neutral. And hold. Bring your hand, knees down, big toes together, knees apart, sit back into child pose again. Release any tension in your wrist. And so now we're going to come onto our sides and do a little sideline legs. So you're going to stretch out on your right thigh. Let's start that way. You can extend your right arm and you can rest your head there or you can prop your head up. Your hips are stacked one on top of the other core pulled in and just bring your legs together forward a tiny bit so you can see your toes. Now the goal where your core is working is stabilizing the upper body. Imagine you can balance a glass on your hip bone the whole time. So you don't want to be moving forward and back as you move your leg around. So that's where the core comes in. You can bring your left hand down on the mat in front of you. That helps to stabilize or to make it more challenging. You bring your arm up or behind your head. So these are just different options that you have depending on how you feel. You also wanna make sure you're not sinking your weight down. You wanna feel lifted and long here up your right side. So first start by lifting your top leg, just even with your hips. So you're straight across, you're not up high. Just check that you're not higher than your hip bone. Flex that foot, sweep it forward, hold, point, sweep it behind you. It's a slow controlled movement. So you feel that stretch, but you're really working on strength, keeping your leg nice and straight, using your core to keep yourself from moving forward and back. If you're doing this, you're not using your core. So keep your core pulled in really tight, lifting your pelvic floor to stabilize the upper body. You only go as far as you can keep your hips stacked. Let's do two more. And keep breathing. Bring your legs together. Now your toes are pointed and you rotate your whole leg. Turn it out so your knee is pointing up towards the ceiling. You lift up with control as high as you can keep your hip from hiking up. Flex your foot and resist. Push down like you're pushing on a big rubber ball. Point, lift, extend. Flex, push. Point, lift. Flex, push down. Pull in with your core. Inhale, exhale, press. Two more. Now we're going to point lift, hold it up there. Make a big circle, half in front of the bottom leg, half behind, lift. You don't want to go really fast, throw your leg around and make it about momentum. It's controlled. Like I always say, it's Joe called it Contrology. He didn't call it Pilates because it's really about controlling your body. Hold it here. Now reverse. Control and precision. Two more. Inhale, exhale, lift. Last one. Now bring your leg down, even with your hip again. Just check your hips are stacked, point your toes. Now your knee is facing forward and you're gonna make little circles. Little circles like you're trying to touch the wall. So reach your leg right out of the hip, lengthening those muscles. Hold, now reverse. Pull that core in. Hold it here, relax your legs for a second. You're gonna bend your knees. So you're bringing your knees to the front edge of your mat. You're gonna lift that top leg, bring it straight out in front of you. Check that your hips are stacked. Flex your foot, lift and lower. It's already lifted, just go up an inch. 
keep breathing. Don't sink into the mat, stay lifted. Hold it five circles forward. And reverse. Three, four, five. Lower that leg down, bend your knee. Pat it out if you're feeling tight in the glutes here in the outer thigh. Just giving it a little break. And you're gonna come onto your back. Knees are bent, cross that left foot over the right knee. And you're gonna lift that leg up and grab behind the thigh with two hands, but don't let your tailbone curl up, press your tailbone away. So you only pull in as deeply as you feel a nice stretch in the glutes, in the hip flexors. You can also do this with your foot on the mat. And if you push the thigh away from you, give it like a nice little rub massage, you can get a nice stretch on the inner thigh too. Good, so we're gonna come up and we're gonna stretch out on the left side now. So make yourself into a nice long line. Set yourself up again, hip stack, shoulder stack. You don't want this top shoulder coming forward. That's why it's nice to bring your hand behind your head if you can. If you can't, you need it for support. That's totally fine. Bring your toes forward just a little bit. Lift that top leg even with your hips. Flex your fo foot. Sweep it forward. Point, sweep it behind you. Try not to think of kicking. Think of lengthening it out. As if there were a table here, you're sweeping it across a table. Let's do three more. Bring your legs together, point your toes, rotate your knee towards the ceiling. So the whole leg turns out from the hip. Lift up as high as you can keep that hip bone down. Flex, resist, press down. Point lift, flex, push. Point, lift with control, flex, press down. Create resistance. Imagine you're pressing down on a big rubber ball. So resist. Let's do two more. Inhale, exhale, press down. Now we're gonna point lift, hold it up there and start those big circles. Draw a circle, half in front, half behind, lift. Everything else stays still. The only thing that is moving is that right leg. We're gonna hold it at the top and now reverse. Inhale, exhale, lift. Keeping your shoulders stacked, hips stacked, one more. Now bring your leg down even with your hip, bring your knee forward, point your toes, reach that leg, little circles forward. Think the size of a dinner plate. And reverse. Lower that leg. So you're gonna bend your knees, bring your knees forward towards the front edge of the mat, and then you're just gonna extend that top leg out. Flex that foot. Hips are stacked, lift it up an inch. But don't roll the upper body back. Try to keep your shoulders stacked. Hold it, circle forward. Leg is as straight as you can make it. And reverse. Lower that leg down, pat it out if you're feeling tight. Roll onto your back again. This time cross the right foot over the left knee. Maybe just pause here for a second. You can massage your inner thigh, kind of push away from the hip joint. And then to deepen the stretch, you pick up that left foot and you can just keep it here or you can grab behind the left thigh with two hands to deepen the stretch. Just taking a few breaths here. And then inhale, exhale, lower that foot down. 
Lower the right foot down, arms at your side, walk your feet in again. We're gonna do another pelvic lift. First inhale, arch your back slightly. So you're bringing your, taking, you're coming out of your neutral and bringing your hip bones away. And then you tuck, bringing your hip bones towards you, press into all four corners of the feet, lift up. And come down one vertebra at a time. Inhale, exhale, pelvic tilt. Press into your feet and lift. If you wanna add a little challenge for this go round, really press into that left foot, bring that right foot up to chair and lower and then switch to the other side. The goal is to not let your hips drop as you lift that leg up and down. Let's do one more on each side. And hold and come down one bone at a time. Release that pelvic tilt. Let's do that one more. Inhale, exhale, pelvic tilt, press into your feet, lifting up into your bridge. Push your knees away, pull your belly in, squeeze your glutes, glutes, shoulders are back, and then we're gonna march. Imagine your leg is in a cast, so you keep that 90 degree angle, but you don't let your hips drop. One more on each side. Hold. Slowly come down, one bone at a time. Pull the knees in again. Bring your feet down onto the mat, slightly wider than your hips, and windshield wiper again, side to side. So we're gonna finish with a little stretch. This was a short workout, but I'm gonna do another one coming in a couple days where we'll make it a little bit longer and maybe advance some of the exercises a little bit. So hopefully this felt okay. And you should never feel pain when you're doing this. You might feel discomfort the day later. Sometimes you can tell when it's your core muscles or your muscles, not your back. So you wanna make sure it's always muscular and not from your back or nerves, your discs pressing on a nerve or something like that. So bring the soles of your feet together and just slowly, gently let your knees open up. Don't let your back arch up. Keep your tailbone tucked so you get a nice inner thigh stretch and you can make goalpost arms if you wanna stretch the upper body, but don't let your ribs pop up. Keep your whole rib cage in the back connected to the mat. Just take a few breaths here, relax your shoulders. And just let the weight of your leg kind of give you that gentle inner thigh stretch. And then slowly start to bring your legs back together. Heel toe your feet out to the edge of the mat or maybe onto the floor, depending on how long your legs are. Start to slowly let your knees come together. So you're getting a little stretch of the outer thighs. And then bring your knees back up. Heel toe your feet back so they're in line with your hips. And now we're gonna windshield wiper. You can bring your arms to your side. Windshield wiper side to side and just let your knees be heavy on the right side. So you can really feel that stretch here as you press your knees away to deepen the stretch in this left hip. You can pick up the right foot and put the heel or the outer edge of that right foot on the outside of that left knee. And you wanna press down and away. So you're creating space here. You can also extend that left arm up and look up towards your hand. So you're just really opening up that left side. Deep breath in through the nose. Exhale, bring your arm back down. Place that foot down. Let your knees be heavy on the left side. So just let them rest there for a second. So you feel that gentle stretch. And then pick up your left foot. Place the heel or the outer edge of that left foot on the outside of that right knee. And you can extend your right arm up and look up towards your hand. And 
and then bring your arm back, place that foot down. One more time for good measure, little windshield wiper, side to side. And then we're gonna to come to the side, push up. We'll just finish with one final stretch, sitting up tall, pulling in with the core, lifting the ribs up, but the shoulders are down. Deep breath in, your right hand uh, clasps just below the left wrist. Lift up and over, press your left hip away. Come up tall, switch sides. Feel like you're pushing through water as you bring your arms down. And one more time, deep breath in. Breathe in through the nose, really expanding those ribs. Exhale, push the air away. And that's it. Thanks for joining me. I'll work on it.